Hello, this video is to show you how to spawn loot when you kill an AI. It's going to spawn the loot where the AI dies, just like uh, if they dropped it. Um, and when you pick up the loot, it's going to give you uh, resources. So, uh, money, basically. Or any other resource if you have multiple different resources. Um, so, in order to do this, um, first, I'm just going to point out that I have my player start. When it spawns, it's going to start a conductor. That's just so I can show you that it works. And it's also going to activate the HUD. And I'm enabling the HUD so I can show you on the screen that you're actually earning resources. Um, so, to start off, what we're going to want to do is create a player resource. Um, there we are. So, player resource. We're going to create a new resource. Um, going to be called, oh, I don't know, money. Um, okay. Um, now what we're going to do next is create a uh, AI proxy. Uh, and the next thing that we want to make is a, uh, what's it, container spawner? Yeah, spawn container. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is uh, first we're going to set up a chain here with the AI proxy on killed. So when a demon is killed, it's going to trigger uh, to spawn a container, spawn object. Okay, so now that's set up. Let's specify what resource we're going to be spawning. Uh, so in this uh, these settings here, you can select what model is going to drop. Um, I'm just going to select a, uh, let's see here, briefcase uh, for money. Um, I'm also going to make the briefcase green um, for money. <laughs> All right, there. You can also have spawn ammo packs, health, armor. Um, uh, there's a couple of other examples, but we're going to be spawning uh, resource for this example. Uh, it's the money resource that we just created. Um, the amount of the resource that's going to drop each time, uh, basically how much the player is going to gain each time they pick up a briefcase. So I'm going to set that to 100. Um, you could also use this to transfer resources and percentages. Uh, but we're just going to be dropping money uh, when a monster dies. Okay. Now a couple of other key things that you need to do here is spawn object here. So we need to change this uh, object's properties so it doesn't spawn at explicit location or else it's going to spawn right here. And we don't want it to spawn there. We want it to spawn where the monster dies. So we're going to use the activator. So what activates it is where it's going to spawn. And uh, defaultly um, selected for the activator is the killer. And we, won't, we, we, do, we uh, don't want this to spawn where you are, where you're killing the monster. Uh, we want it to spawn where the monster dies. So it's like they're dropping it. Um, so there you go. Um, cause of death. You can select non-glory kill or glory kill. Uh, but any's fine. We want to drop the loot regardless. Um, and I think that is everything. Now I'm just going to set up the resource in the HUD real quick so you can see it. Uh, let's change this to variable. Uh, change the label to money. Variable is over here to resource, player resource. Um, that's fine. The rest is needless. I'm just going to leave it as default. Okay, so that's activated. That's activated. Uh, the money's there. Um, yeah, I think that is everything. So let's go ahead and test this out. Alright, so when I kill the zombie, he should drop the green briefcase. There we go. The money's at the top left, it's zero. When I pick this up, it's 100. And this will go each time I kill an AI. Dropped it. <laughs> Alright, so that is it for this uh, 
tutorial. Uh, the next one, part two, is going to be about dropping weapons uh, instead of resources.